What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and guess what? I have that one sports car that really has made an impact on the whole auto industry. This is it. This is a 2022 Mazda MX-5 Miata. This one, though, is the club trim. But before we get into this drop-top, rear-wheel drive sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Mazda Miata. Ever since its introduction, they've sold over a million examples of this car, and it really touched on the purity, that single most important element when looking at a sports car, driving engagement. It may not have 810 horsepower, and it may not blow the doors off the competition in a quarter mile in less than nine seconds, but what it does do, it gives the driver such a connection to what's going on underneath the vehicle and through the vehicle into the steering wheel that really no other car can match this. Now there's different ways to spec your Mazda Miata and there's competition from cars like the GR86 from Toyota and the Subaru BRZ. What I wanna find out though is if you're gonna buy a new sports car and you're gonna go the Mazda Miata route, is the club trim the way to go or should you maybe be going touring or just standard MX-5 Miata? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our club and find out. Right off the bat, I love this color. Second only to Soul Red is this polymetal gray color. Absolutely fits it to a T. Up front, you're gonna get adaptive LED headlights. What that means is when you turn the steering wheel, these are gonna turn and pivot with the direction of the wheel. On the lower side, you do have a little bit of lighting down below, and then you have on the club trim this gloss black splitter. It's got a nice curve up on the edge, and then as we come across the low slung nose, I think really the MX-5 grew up in a very good way for this generation. And what's crazy is, is that overall, the weight is pretty much as close to the original Miata as it is today. Now, with that low slung hood, you do have a bit of gloss black here, but you got some flat black, fully functional, and we got a normally, naturally aspirated engine underneath that hood. When we get up onto the hood, clean, simple design. That's what I love about Mazda, is they do this elegant touch of wrapping everything around the fenders, and then the way that they black out the window frame, I think is a perfect balance of proportions with this vehicle. Now, when we come around the bend, you go club. It's not just about the body, extra body work. You're getting these special wheels. These are Forge BBS wheels with those four piston bright red Brembo calipers. B and B. These are the two biggest Bs in motorsports, BBS and Brembo. So you're going to get some great stopping capability, but you're also, of course, getting the very, very light Forge wheels. 17 inch wheel and the importance of a forge wheel is that it's stronger than cast, which is going to mean that you'll have a more sturdy wheel setup, but it's also lighter than cast aluminum. So that's less rotating weight. You'll notice that, like I said, this is a 17-inch wheel. And what are we looking at? We're looking at 205 on the width and a 45 series sidewall. We've got the Continental Extreme Contact Sport tires to give us that stick and grip. Now, as we come down the side, I like the way they do the tasteful side marker light. That fender, it just has a nice flow to it. When you're washing this car, it's such a pleasure to just rub your hands all over this car. Gloss black on your mirror caps matches nicely with that window treatment. You have the gloss black side sill extension all the way towards the rear. And I love the way as it comes back towards the rear, it has a little bit of a kick up rear wheel drive this is not front wheel drive this is rear wheel drive nice fender flare this guy right here is what i got is honked why do we need a standard antenna it should all be through the shark fin antenna so i am going to zonk that but coming around the back just as good as the front you got your led tail lights looking very sharp it almost looks like a jaguar f type the way that they designed this and then working our way all the way down you do have your dual exit exhaust on one side. Very interesting setup, no finished tip on it whatsoever, but it does look pretty clean. One thing that they did not do very clean 
is when they added the backup camera. Originally back in 2016 when this design came out, you didn't need to have a backup camera, wasn't required by the DOT. Now that it is, they kind of notched it right into that back portion. But why don't we go ahead, you got your gloss black trunk lid spoiler, the rest of the badging, why don't we go ahead, let's pop that hood because I'm telling you, it's got a great look to it and we'll find out how it sounds in this MX-5. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but within that old school feel of a pure sports car, it kind of makes sense. What I do love though, is how sexy it is underneath the hood. Not only that nice polished aluminum cam cover, just a little bit of plastic covering, and then you'll see the bracing from shock top to the other side on the driver's side and tying it into the firewall. So you're getting that nice bracing to stiffen things up at the front of the business. But what do we got underneath the hood? Two liters of inline four naturally aspirated horsepower. It's 181 horsepower, 151 pound-feet of torque, made it to one of the best shifting six-speed manual transmissions in the business. The car weighs around 2,500 pounds. MPGs is where it really comes out on top. 26 in the city, 34 on the highway. If you know how to row through the gears and do the dance, you're looking at zero to 60 in around 5.7 seconds, which makes this a ton of fun when you look at the weight to the power ratio. But you know what? Let's fire up this MX-5 and hear what it sounds like. Alright guys, we got the top down and this thing, I'm telling you, kind of just wraps around you. I'm six feet tall and still the windshield frame just is barely right above my head. And that's the thing, if you're taller than six feet, it, it's probably not going to work out for you. Now I know you're saying to yourself, well Joe, I've always wanted one of these. I've never been able to have one because I have so many kids and my wife was telling me that I got to have an SUV or a minivan. Well, guess what? The kids have moved out finally after they're 30 years old. They finally moved out. I'm ready to get my Miata. I love this one. How much is it? MSRP for the way that this one is spec'd out is right around $36,000. But the great news is this one could be part of your garage through Dream Giveaway Garage. And the best news is that if you spend $25 or more, trying to get this one, they'll actually double your giveaway chances. So use the Radies Rides promo code, and I don't get paid to say that. That's just something that Dream Giveaway Garage wants to do for the Radies Rides fans. But let's see what you get when you get this MX-5 Club to the door panels. Love the way they bring the exterior color right into the door panel. The rest of the material is pretty soft touch with the gray contrast stitching. No cup holders, but you know what? This is all about being minimalistic. Going from the door panel to the dash, it is hard plastic, but the great news is you do get the soft material with that same stitching. And then you have the infotainment size screen, seven inch display. And I think what a lot of people are gonna like is that this is an actual touch screen. Not many of the Mazda products have a touch screen, but this one is a touch screen or you could use the direct drive control knob. It's smart the way they use the extra real estate to get an AC vent in here. I got the two on my side. You got your standard controls for blower fan and your temperature. And then down below, you do get three stages of heated seats, two USB A's, and a nice cubby for two Twinkies. Since there's two seats in here, it's nice to share a Twinkie with somebody. Don't be selfish and only have the two Twinkies for you. This is where you're gonna feel selfish. This is that six speed manual transmission, nice short throws, crisp engagement, even the way the shift knob looks, perfect with the stitching, just like a baseball that you had signed by Jose Canseco before he went crazy on the roids. You got that good old fashioned mechanical e-brake, same stitching, there's the direct drive control knob, everything is flat black. Little tiny holder to where you could put your keys if you want to, 
and you got all the buttons on the side, or you could put two boxes of Tic Tacs. And that might be important because you're kind of close to your passenger in here. If you ate a bag of Funyuns and then wanted to go on throttle with your favorite person in your life, you might want to pop a Tic Tac because they may not want to be your favorite person anymore from that Funyun breath. Close it up. You got the two cup holders. What's nice is they're removable. How do I know that? Because look, they're removable. And then the seats. You're not going to want to remove these. Recaro with the leather, the piping. Here, I'm going to use the cup holder to point everything out. Alcantara, nice bolstering. Everything is manual control in here for the passenger and the driver. But I love the stitch work and the way it kind of just blends perfectly in. Another nice thing is you pull this down and you got your glove box right there and you can put your cup holders nicely in there. I'm actually going to put the other one in there because I don't, I don't need these. Just like that. Putting up the top piece of cake, you're just going to grab it. One, two, three, boom. We're ready to rock and roll, but why don't you get your butt over here? We still need to do the business end coming over behind the wheel of this Mazda Miata. All right, guys, here we are behind the wheel of the Mazda Miata. Now, the great news is compared to when this car first came out in 2016, you do have obviously a sliding manual adjustment on the driver's side. One of the big improvements was having a telescoping steering wheel. That allows you to really get the perfect seating arrangement in here. But you could see, I mean, I, I feel very comfortable behind the wheel of this Mazda. Speaking of the wheel, there's more of that beautiful baseball stitching. Like I said, Jose Canseco signed all over your baseballs after he did the roids. You got your Mazda badge, a little bit of silver there, and then you'll notice this is where you're gonna make your adjustment. Now what's nice is Dream Giveaway Garage decided to leave the condom for the adjustments on the actual steering wheel here. So I'm gonna slip it off, and then this is where you could do your tilting and telescoping steering wheel. That's a big, huge advancement. And then check out the dash exactly what you want, where you want it. The tack, smack dab in the center. Look at that red line, 7,300 RPM red line. You got your speedometer, and then you got a digital display that has different readouts. But while we go ahead, I'm not gonna show you the trunk. We've already seen the trunk. You could put two cases of Kirkland water from Costco back there. That's how big it is. I'm ready for the fun stuff. So if you're ready, let's go on throttle in this MX-5 Club and see how it drives. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Mazda MX-5 Club. Nowhere on the car does it say Miata, which is kind of interesting, but we're gonna start with the top up. What I like about the soft top is you actually have a little bit more headroom, especially somebody like myself that's on the taller side. If you're gonna do your autocross event or track day, you gotta wear a helmet. This will give you a little bit more room and the top's gotta be up nine out of 10 times at track days here in the United States. But love the action from the shifter, especially when you're downshifting. Gotta be smooth, of course, but uh, let me get it into first gear and we're gonna go on throttle. Nobody's behind us, which is a rarity. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Chirping tire's a happy tire. This car is so much fun to drive. It's all about momentum. It's gonna make you a better driver. This is the type of car that if you make a mistake on a, on a racetrack, you can't just use the power to correct your mistake. You gotta be smooth, you gotta carry the speed. And having that six speed manual, they did such a good job when they revised it in 2019, they did such a good job, not only changing up the power delivery of the engine, but also how that transmission shifts. All right, guys, let's go on throttle again. Are you ready? I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> nice. On the brakes. Super smooth. Is that the direct 
connect feel that you have from the steering wheel is absolutely spectacular. The Recaro's, I'm telling you, it's one of those things that you wanna check that box off. Even though there's a price that comes with it, you wanna check that box off because with the Recaro's and the Brembo brakes and everything else that's on this club, it really just makes it feel extra special, which is super nice. Light clutch pickup, which is phenomenal. Good pickup point and the steering it just is so natural because you don't have all these stupid modes in here. It's not like a sport, sport touring, semi-sport, super sport, slow sport. You just got started up and you go, which is great. You got that sound of the induction off of the four cylinder. And then you got that light weight. It's crazy that this car only weighs about 300 pounds more than the first gen Miata. And that may not seem like a big deal, but it is because when you think about all the safety equipment, technology that's in this car compared to the original, it, it's crazy that it's only 300 pounds more. Oh, it's right, here we go. Just holds a line really nice and it's super smooth. Now, of course you're gonna get wind noise when the top is up. I mean, that's kind of common sense, especially with the cloth top. And you can go the RF route, which is that retractable fastback. That's what they call it. That's what RF stands for. But definitely, this is the old school feel here. Oh, it's right. Here we go. <laughs> On the brakes. blast to drive and then the best part is you want to put the top down let me put the side windows up now we're ready to rock and roll got that open air experience brakes are freaking great on this thing just enough you don't need 12 piston calipers we got Four piston Brembo's, which is just perfect. You got those BBS wheels. You got the wind in your hair, nice sunny day. We got the air blowing on us because it's hot as heck. But let's do it. You ready? Ah, oh, throttle! <laughs> it back to those original days of MGs and Triumphs and everything else that these British cars that didn't have a bunch of horsepower but you had two seats a drop top and a good old six-speed manual transmission that's what you need and I love the color the color on this yeah the infotainment's dated yeah the dash may seem dated to some people but I'm not using the car for that. I'm using the car for this manual transmission. On throttle! the road man there's no other way to to explain it and then the best part is when you're done getting blinded by the sun you can just put the top back up one two three 
all done. But you know what? We got to get back to Dream Giveaway Garage. They want their car back. I'm sure somebody wants to win it. So I'll see you in a Mazda MX-5 Miata Minute. See All right, guys. guys. It's been another great day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. Definitely want to thank Lori, Ryan, and Chris for helping us get access to this 2022 Mazda MX-5 Club Edition of the Miata. Let me know what you think. Is this the best new sports car for you to have? Would you want to have this in your garage to make it a Dream Giveaway Garage event at your house? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Got to give it up to the man behind the machine. That would be Steven behind the camera, Steven Flood Photography. He actually matches, you can't see it, but he actually matches this MX-5 to a T with what he's wearing. That's the devotion and dedication he has to Radies Rides. So thank you, Steven, for that dedication. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.